Hey, how's it going guys? It's Proxar, and the Fortnite team just released a whole bunch of information about the future of Battle Royale. Now this is a lot of new and exciting information, so I hope you guys are strapped in and ready and have some kind of food or drink or in a comfortable chair, because I'm going to try and go through all this information as fast as I can, but there is a lot and I don't want to skip any of it. So I hope you guys are ready for this video, and if you're excited or if you enjoy this video at any point, make sure to leave a like and also leave a comment telling me what you guys think of some of these new changes or new things they're adding to the game. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any news in the future about Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm just going to jump straight into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, real quick before we jump into all of these topics, they just get more exciting as we go on. I'm just gonna be starting from top of the list and going all the way through. So to start off, we have playing with friends. And right here, basically they're talking about duos and squads and how you can make new friends in Fortnite if you ever actually played without your friends in a random duo or squad and had all of those people filled in. Sometimes you talk over the mic and sometimes you actually like that person you play with. Probably most times you don't, but sometimes you do and you actually have a good teammate that can communicate well and you want to add them as a friend. They're just going to make that more simple so you're able to make friends when you go and play with random people in duos and squads. So that's really good to see. And next they go on about team killing. Now, if you've ever been in a game and you've been killed where either you're playing squads or duo, I feel like it's more common in squads, but sometimes your teammates can kill you. There is friendly fire on in this game, which I don't think they should get rid of. I think friendly fire is great to have, but definitely need to make this team killing stop. So what they're going to do is they're just basically saying they need more improvement and they understand that right now all you can really do is just use a player report and actually report that person but then you never know what actually happens so they're saying that they're going to improve the reporting to make it more simple and also give you feedback of that person you reported and you'll know if they either got banned or banned for a certain amount of time or what their punishment was so you know your reports are actually working and then they're saying they might actually implement a new reputation into the game where maybe if you go and play games you get your reputation built up and it's all good and you're say I don't know a green color on your name and then maybe a red color if you're actually a bad person that kills other teammates so you'll get paired up with people that are just like you and have the same sort of reputation you do so if you're a person that likes to kill your teammates and squads you'll get paired up with other people that do the same or if you just do it so often you actually might get just banned from the game completely. So this is really good to see that they're dealing with a big problem in Fortnite. It doesn't happen too often, but when it does, it's really, really bad. So I'm glad they're dealing with that. Next, they talk about a new shooting model. So this is really, really interesting. Fortnite says that we've been internally playtesting an overhaul of our shooting model to remove random bullet spread while aiming down sights. We want to improve shooting while maintaining the usefulness of building cover while under fire and without changing engagement distances or the flow of the game. The initial results are promising. The changes need more work and tuning. We are shooting to provide a test client and servers for you to provide feedback and iterate on this together with us in December. So this is really, really interesting. Basically, it sounds like they're saying they're just going to get rid of bullet spread in general. I mean, I don't know how this is going to work out. They're basically wanting it to, when you aim down your sights, you actually don't have any random bullets going anywhere. So I can't see how that's not going to change the game, but I guess they have a new way of how they're gonna keep the game the same, but still make it less random when you're aiming down sights. But we'll just have to see in December how that actually works. But that is definitely very interesting to see in the future. Next is the inventory revamp. So basically they are just redoing how the inventory actually is displayed and how it works. I'll definitely show you guys a picture on the screen now. They're basically saying that they're going to improve all different aspects of the inventory, make splitting and dropping half of any loot to make sharing easier. Rearranging your quick bar with a controller is going to be simpler and just all management tasks are going to be easier to perform. And this is something that I definitely can't wait for because I'm always organizing my little bar because I like an assault rifle and a shotgun and then my sniper and I like everything in order so it's very easy and I don't have to look down when I'm in a fight I know where things are just by muscle memory and I can just switch to it really quickly and it just takes forever when I have to organize my stuff I have to drop into my inventory go back out I'm sure any of you who organize your little bar 
uh, knows that you, it just takes too long and they're gonna be making it even easier and they're gonna be making dropping half of your stuff even easier because I do that a lot when I'm playing with friends. I'm always dropping them ammo or dropping them some kind of medical supplies, anything they need. So that's really good that they're making everything easier with the inventory and just make it more efficient so you spend less time in your inventory and more time actually playing the game. So this next topic also comes with a picture so I'll definitely be throwing that up on the screen as well. And this one is for post-match stats. And that is really awesome. That's something that actually me and my friends talked about one time. It's just something that would be nice to see because once you actually get through the game and you don't look at your kills or something, it's just harder to do that right now. But now they're going to be adding all these stats at the end when either you die or you win. So straight from Fortnite, they say they want to provide more feedback to you after your match. We are working on our first stab at a post-match stat screen you can view after you're eliminated. The first iteration shows fun, interesting, and relevant statistics from your game and the experience you earned after you or your whole team has been eliminated. And you can see on the screen that this isn't uh, going to be confirmed for sure if it's going to stay like this, but this is kind of the thing that you're going to see in the future. And it's a lot of cool stats that you can't even see now, like accuracy, hits, critical hits, Distance traveled is interesting to see how much you had to run and try and get in the circle. Materials gathered, materials used, and of course the last three damage just done to everything in the map. So it's just a bunch of interesting stats that um, would be nice to reflect on the game and see what you did compared to your other games. And also it shows you your level and how much XP you actually got for the game. So I think this is just great to have in the game. It's definitely going to make it easier to see how you actually did compared to your friends if you're playing in squads or duos and just see how you did in solo to compare it to your other matches so i just can't wait till this is in the game all right even though all of this is really exciting this one might be the most exciting to me at least and this is new map updates they're saying that they're going to add new unique points of interest to the map to better fill in some of the empty spaces and introduce more gameplay variety. And I'll throw up a picture right now of the new city they're thinking of adding in Fortnite. So this is very interesting. There is a lot of real estate still left on the Fortnite island that's just kind of grasslands. And as that, it is good to have that, but at the same time, there's so much room for new things. So they're saying that they're also gonna introduce more variety to the map by updating existing areas like mountain and the swamp region and other things like that with unique art and change the landscape so you can quickly recognize different regions from up above and on the ground providing an improved sense of location and place and i think this is definitely the right direction to go because sometimes i'm running through some grassy lands and it looks so similar to the ones i've been in on the other side of the island so it'd be really nice to have just really defined areas and i feel like that's something fortnite is lacking just like they do and i'm sure a lot of other people do so i'm so happy that they're going to add more things and more cities and it's just going to be really crazy going into a city where you basically know there's going to be somebody i mean that's kind of the way it is but sometimes there's just not people in the towns because they're just too small and if you have these huge cities it's basically you know there's going to be somebody there so that definitely change how people play there's going to be people who try and just take over the city and hold it down and there's going to be people who just avoid it completely so it's going to be really interesting to see this once it's added into the game so i don't know what you guys think about skins and different characters in the game but personally i haven't actually bought any of them because they just don't stand out enough i think the coolest one is the skeleton looking guy with his scythe for a pickaxe that's pretty cool but it's not enough to get me to actually buy one of them especially for how much they cost but they're saying in the future they're going to be having even more unique and personality driven characters and also they're just going to be remodeling different things like gliders instead of just new skins on gliders new colors and new remodeling of just different objects used as gliders so that's going to be very interesting and also same thing with pickaxes and characters so maybe in the future i'll actually purchase one of these if they do stand out enough and actually catch my eye compared to what they have now 
Next is another really exciting one to me, and this is different kinds of audio for different kinds of surfaces. So I don't know if you guys ever been in a building and you're hearing footsteps, but you're not sure if they're just outside of the building or actually inside or what kind of material they're on. So this is just really going to help because this is really important in a game like Fortnite Battle Royale where you only have one life and if there's a guy in or outside the house that could mean the end for you. So it's definitely great that they're going to be adding different footsteps for different kinds of materials to make just listening for footsteps more important than it already is and it's going to be easier to know where they actually are. And also, they're going to be adding quieter teammate footsteps. So I don't know if you guys have ever been running in a squad or duo. Sometimes I think they are the enemy, but they're actually not. And they're just very loud around me. And so this is going to help so you can actually hear the enemy's footsteps instead of your friend's footsteps. And also, they're going to be adding vertical audio. So this is definitely going to be very interesting where there's actually someone above you or below you. So it's going to help you even more. So it's just basically all of this is going towards the importance of having your audio on and actually using a headset or make sure, make sure you just hear the footsteps around you because it's going to be so important and it's also going to be more important that you stay quiet yourself because other people can actually hear you better. And another thing they're going to be messing with on the audio side is the trap audio. I definitely have experienced this where I put a zap, a zap kind of trap down in a house and I just don't want to sit there because it's just so loud. So maybe they're going to actually turn this down if you're in that area for a little while, if it's your own trap. But they also want to make sure that it's loud enough for other people to hear so they can actually still react to it. So it's just going to make it less of an annoyance. And also launch pad audio. I'm so happy that they're going to make this louder and it's going to be easier to hear people flying in because right now I have been flown in on at least five times from different people on launch pads and I just don't even hear them. If you're not looking and you don't hear them open up their glider high in the air, you cannot even hear them land behind you. Maybe it's so small, but you don't even notice, especially if you're shooting at somebody else. So they're going to be raising that so you have a better chance to actually react to that. And then also they're doing some things to weapon audio so you can just make sure you can actually hear from where the shots are actually coming from. Sometimes it's kind of hard to understand where the shots are coming from. So it's going to be easier to know where their exact locations of their shots are actually coming from. So we're getting towards the end of this list here. Now they have this title as other ongoing work. Just a bunch of different things like limited time modes, maybe a limited time mode in December where it's a temporary experience with special conditions to provide new ways to play and allow us to run fun experiments. So they're going to announce the first limited time mode soon and they say it's going to be epic. So that's definitely something to be excited for. Those new game modes I was talking about are going to be sooner than we actually thought it looks like. And also they just talk about server performance and how they are always upgrading. And they talk about other things like map streaming where it's just going to be better way to load in the map. And if you've ever seen maybe chests that look open but they're actually not open when you get close or the other way around hopefully those kind of things will be more limited and also if you're in a different region the united states or other main areas where they actually are already focused they're actually expanding out to other regions so there'll be even more players in the future in different regions and also they're saying they're going to make the aim assist behavior adjust more similar to other games you may know but they're just making sure they get it right before it's actually put out another thing is the leaderboards and stats they're actually going to add a whole bunch more stats and actually make the leaderboards more usable than they are at the moment because I don't even really use the leaderboards too much at the moment. They don't seem to be exactly where they should be, but they're definitely adding that soon into the future. And then another really exciting thing is that the season store, they're actually going to be combining a single purchase pass system that contains tons of loot that can be acquired as you play and complete quests. And also they're going to be adding free seasonal loot that can be earned by just playing. So that's something I've really been wanting, a way to basically earn V-Bucks in-game, but it's just going to be earning the loot in-game. So it's just basically the same thing. I just wanted a way to get free new skins or different kinds of loot by just playing and not having to actually pay anything. So that's great that they're adding a new way that you can actually do that into the game. And then they're saying on the horizon, there are more items and weapons. They're saying how they just scratched the surface with these things like slurp juice and smoke grenades and silence SMG. They're looking to do a whole lot more there. 
then also they refer back to custom games they're exploring a whole bunch of things they're trying to add more spectating and tournament support and just a whole bunch of different things there then they're also adding just more solid frames per second over the consoles and then also they're going to be adding more customizable things like the badges and medals so they're going to be different things that highlight different kind of plays and they give an example of a mid-air kill with a rocket launcher so they're just going to add a whole bunch of more challenges and different things to kind of do in the game to try and earn these things that you can then show off into your other games and they just say at the end thank you for all your feedback to improve the game and prioritize our efforts and your enjoyment and the support is what keeps them motivated to run at the pace they currently are thank you guys so much but i want to say thank you to fortnite for being such an amazing game and listening to the community and also making changes after you actually listen and it's just amazing to have a great game as it is and it's only going to get better as future goes on and it's going to happen so fast guys so i hope you guys are excited for the future of fortnite as much as i am and if you made it to the end of the video i really appreciate you it helps more than you know and also make sure to leave a like if you haven't left one already and also leave a comment telling me what you thought about any topic in this video i really like to have a discussion with you guys down in the comments and also make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future and also if you guys could share this video with just one of your friends it would really mean the world to me so i appreciate you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video